sharks are disappearing, and the real numbers are so wild they barely sound real. Right now, almost one out of every three shark species is at risk of vanishing, and scientists have measured a 70% drop in oceanic sharks and rays in the last 50 years. That means the open ocean has lost more than two-thirds of its top predators, and the whole food chain is shaking because of it. Here is where things get crazy. When sharks vanish, certain fish populations explode and others crash. Coral reefs become more vulnerable because the balance between grazers and predators falls apart. It is like removing security guards from the busiest mall in the world. Chaos shows up fast. Some coastal fisheries even report losing money when shark populations drop because the ecosystem stops working the way it should. The number one reason sharks are disappearing is overfishing. Humans take up to 100 million sharks every single year, and many species simply cannot replace themselves fast enough. Some sharks only have a few babies at a time and only every couple of years. Imagine trying to refill a giant water tank with a tiny drip while someone keeps punching holes in the bottom. That is what the ocean is dealing with right now. Here is a real knowledge bomb. Sharks help protect the ecosystems that help produce the oxygen we breathe. They do not make oxygen themselves, but by keeping herbivore populations in balance, they protect coral reefs and seagrass beds, which do help produce oxygen. Without sharks, these systems struggle, and everything from water quality to biodiversity takes a hit. Another surprising fact is that many communities around the world rely on live sharks for tourism. People pay to dive with them or see them in the wild, and that can bring in serious money. It is not as simple as saying every shark is worth more alive than dead. But in many places, a single shark can bring in years of income by just existing. One shark can support diving shops, restaurants, and entire local economies that depend on people wanting to see them. Here is the hopeful twist. Shark sanctuaries and protected zones are working. In places where sharks were once wiped out, numbers are finally climbing again. Ecosystems come back, fish return, coral rebounds stronger than before. The ocean can heal faster than people think, as long as the pressure stops and the top predators are allowed to do their job again. If you want more people to understand what is happening, to these ocean legends, tap, like, and subscribe, and tell me your favorite shark in the comments. Stay curious, have fun, and as always, stay wild.